Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone. That's what the DLC is called. So we're going to be playing as Ethiopia today. Uh, we just finished up our uh, Italy recording, which will be going up live as we speak. I mean, if you're watching this video, the first episode of Italy should already be up. But uh, here we are, we are Ethiopia. We have four factories, two, zero, and two. I mean, I mean, could be worse, right? Kind of, kind of could be worse. So let's get our divisions ready to go. We're going to be fighting against Italy. What we're going to be doing this uh, run is we're going to be going down the communist route. And we're going to be aligning ourselves with the Soviet Union. Let me just get all these guys uh, together here. Do I not have a single field marshal? Damn, okay, that's that's not great. Um, What do we want to do here? Yeah, we want to get our way over to military communism. Gives us daily communist support, not a big deal. It's not going to help us out too much right now. We have one building slot in the entire country. I guess we'll go with the military factory. Uh, Tex, we'll go with 1918. We have negative 4% research bonus. Excellent. Happy to see it. Okay, so let's see how we can maybe do against the uh, the Italians. I'm kind of going to lean towards not super well to begin with, but why are you guys retreating? Because I accidentally moved you. Please go somewhere, you know, useful. Crisp offensive. We have war escalation here. But if we can survive long enough to, uh, to, to not die here against Italy, do not never attack. There's never a situation where I think attacking against Italy is actually going to be worthwhile. We just want to defend for as long as we can. Okay, Christmas defense will be done tomorrow. Gradual war escalation, 108 days. Hold the north, 128 days. We'll fail. We, get, we lose war support. I mean, I would like to hold these territories. I mean, the north right now is two provinces... Both of which are mountains, I believe. Decentralized Ethiopia, state development. I mean, our defense is garbage. Air superiority negative 67.64.7%. Are you kidding me? That is uh, awful. That is that's incredibly bad. Okay. How are you guys doing in the south? I mean, you're not doing super well. And I'm assuming we probably don't have any guns whatsoever. Nor do we have any resources. Really, everything in Ethiopia is just kind of shit at the moment. What are you? I mean, we could maybe try to retreat, let's say, behind some rivers, but I don't know if that'll actually uh, happen too much either. I mean, we can hold you. Again, do not attack. We just want to stay back and defend, defend, defend. We call Balosafo from retirement. Who are we actually getting support from? Um, we wanted to go towards the McQuanist, which is you. So you want to centralize government? Well, does that actually give me a feel? No, it comes to general. We do get one infantry as well. Daily battles, a power change. I mean, who's 0.25? Infrastructure? I mean, infrastructure might not be bad. That might be nice. I, I don't know. We're already in stage two at the moment. Next one, we'll be able to get to, we'll be able to request an embargo against Italy. And we'll get two points. If we can somehow hold on to southern and northern Ethiopia, it'll push us straight into level four. It allows us to request arms. Italian public becomes concerned. Just hold the ground. Just like, just don't die. And we will be safe, right? We'll be say oh also I just realized yeah this is entirely my bad uh the audio is not set properly now you can hear the game fantastic so I apologize for having no game audio for the first four minutes uh daily support for online goes down absolutely I want this defense on the home front ASAP Italy's move to annex U which scares me a little bit because then we need to actually defend more territory here. I don't know if there's anything I can do to stop that. You submitted to Italian demands. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. Come your civilian trains. 
Yeah, so now you just own more territory. So let's move you down a little bit. I mean, the air, of, uh, the air attack being like a negative 65% is absurd. <laughs> like, that, that's very bad for us. Let's say maybe we can take this city. I don't think we will be able to, but we might as well try, right? Right? We gotta... Like, just take the city. I mean, it's a mountain province. Do ne never attack. Again, very, very important that we never attack the Italians. How are we doing, by the way, on our front? I mean, we're, we're still kind of in control here, a little bit. Not by much, but a little bit. Okay, they might move their way down into this city. What else do we have? Do we have anything good? I mean, we get attack bonus against, uh, against Italy, and that's nice. Okay, you've now been pushed back here. Again, never attack. Because it doesn't make any sense. You guys are at full strength, though. Like, can I do anything with you? I don't think so. Because now we're kind of weakening our position. You're actually, are they going to lose their way straight to Addis Ababa? You've been pushed back. I'm going to actually have you on orange. That's actually... Okay, what I'm going to do... We're going to pull you back one. I do need to make sure there's some units at least in Addis Ababa. Because uh, I'm scared. <laughs> to put it mildly. I'm not happy with the situation that we uh, find ourselves in. Okay, we're not... We haven't been killed here yet. So, I mean, that's good. We're still alive. We're going to get a 10% attack or 10% defense bonus soon. We're on 20% support for the Black Lions. Right now, we're at 6%. So, we do need to do anti... Before we actually do that, is there anything here we care about? Defense against major country, 5%. Organization regain. Italian units get a movement and attack penalty against Ethiopian controlled border states for 60 days. I mean, that would be nice. Can I can I take this city? I know this seems like maybe an issue. Like maybe this is gonna be bad. We can't we can't do this after 60 days. 35, 30. I think the our best situation. When are you gonna be here? One day? When will be the when will we be there? One day, two. Oh, so we'll actually we'll be slower, which is not to my advantage. But I don't want to connect you guys up though. At least I don't think so. We're 88% against you. Still holding on to some of this lane. How many casualties have we taken? 18. 18 to 10? You know, that's not so bad. I'm gonna pull you back one more province. Just just please for the love of God defend yourself. We have anybody here that's... Uh, we need a defense specialist. Entrenchment speed. Negative 5% errors. And you know what? That 5% might actually be really good for us. Because it'll go from... Do they not have any... Uh, wait, do they not have aircraft over here? They have aircraft here. So now it's a negative 8%. Which is much better than... What were we, what were we at? Negative 65? Which was just absurdly terrible. So they still technically haven't uh, taken the north or the south. Technically, they, they have not done that yet. Hey, Italy. Can you like, you know, you know, be cool for a second? No, whole position. I'm going to have you two with our best general here. You're just going to last stand for a moment. I don't expect you to live. I expect you to die. How are you guys doing, by the way? Don't attack. Again, attacking here make. Why are you la Why are you last standing? No, you're not last standing. I'm bad at reading the uh, the map here. Bring units in. I'm gonna pull you one state back. Okay, we're defending all right. Twenty thousand against thirteen. I mean, the numbers still are not great. 
but if we can just survive a little bit, we're getting a 0.6 change here. You'll be losing 0.8. Move you in like this. I mean, we're, de we're defending. I think if we lose this, that might count as um, not holding the south. It's not control. At least two of them must be, fall must be true. We technically hold you. We already don't hold this state. So I'm not... I think we're... What the hell? Wait, what are you? Recruit population 4.5, factory output, automatically increase the penalties, manpower reserves at w when at war. Okay, I mean, that's neat that you have your own unique thing. I don't know if that fucking benefits me at all, but we'll see. 43 days. Okay, we're holding on. Again, most of the country, it's very important to remember that a decent chunk of the country is a bunch of mountains. And mountains, as you may or may not know, uh, are a fucking bitch to fight through. Again, even when we were playing as Italy in our Italy campaign, we had, we had troubles dealing with Ethiopia. So I'm not... I mean, I'm a little concerned. Don't get me wrong. Air superiority terrain. I mean, I hate all of you. I, I, just, I just want that to be clear. What can we modify? Oh, it, it's this stuff in here. You give me one, you know what? One free to troop. I mean, we're going to lose a little bit more power here, but getting one extra division might really be worth it. So you have returned. I want ambusher for more entrenchment. I don't have the fucking points for that. You might as well be on Red Army. You're already down the south. Is this new commander any good? He's a 4-2. You're better than... I mean, but you're actually better at defense. Your reckless planning speed. You might not actually be better at, like... And you're also not a field command. Or a field marshal. We need more command power. So you might be a good field marshal in the future. But for right now, you're not that impressive. 30 days, 18 days on you. You don't have enough. We're at 19.06. So I guess we'll do the second Italo-Ethiopian War now. 14. You're on force attack, actually. It does scare me a little bit. 47, 46. Get our reinforcements up here. You're at least defending. And I'm happy to see the defense. I mean, the Italian forces are taking some... Uh, some high casualties here. Yeah, bring these troops in. Everyone else is defending decently, I want to say. Like, it, it could be going substantially worse. Are you still on last stand? No, also you should be on the field marshal, even though he doesn't exist. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of surprised how well the Ethiopian army is fighting. So we're going to get a point up here, which is Ethiopia may request an embargo. International reputation grows. Request an embargo unlocked. The focus is unlocked. What are you? Uh, Spirit of the Academy, first class, 35 days. But I think that's on... I think that's in here. Request embargo. So does this not matter because we're going arms purchase? Yeah, actually, so most of this maybe doesn't matter, dude. But I mean, okay, what it could do is it could reduce the uh, Italian appetite for war. It's 150 political power. Let's freaking go. Do any of you research speed? Thought, no, I want someone. Does anybody here? Japanizer. Democratic not aligned. Democratic not aligned. Not fascist. Doesn't 
Diplomacy. Do I have anybody that... Surrender limit? Eh, probably not really what I, what I want. Enemy air support minus 10%. Yes. Because, like, you know, the Italian Air Force is really one of the major contributing factors to them being uh, dicks. But in... I'm hoping... I'm like, if we can hold on to all this territory within for one more week... Just for one more week. So we keep spending our points on this, which is not great. How much? I mean, it's only two, actually. It's not that bad. But if we can just hold on to these territories, right? For just a few more days, we will get... We will technically have held the north and held the south. Which I'm assuming, based on, uh, on you... Might be considered the the Abyssinian fiasco. Can be autocompleted after failing both conquer north and conquer south. So again, I'm gonna do a quick save here just in case. But if we can just hold on for a few more days, just tomorrow, which they definitely won't be able to push in. Hold Addis Ababa. We're now up to War Escalation level 5. But that should mean that, that that'll be the Italian fiasco. It should have automatically unlocked you. Italian offensive been removed. Is that good for me? I don't know. Hold it, Ababa. We lose War Sport if we fail, but we're not failing. We're, we're succeeding. We're, we're having a great time. Okay, we're not having a great time, but we, we could be having a worse time. Okay, falling back. Italian units gain attack penalties and movement penalties. Land forts. Renewed offensive. I mean... I mean, this would actually be really nice. Like, if we can survive the, the Italian... No, okay, but this only happens if we're actually at the war's ongoing. Division attack breakthrough plus 50%. Aero mercenary. I mean, this could, I mean, that actually seems pretty powerful. But I think we're going to do it in the name of the people. Semoy Magasha. Is that one of you? Semoy Magasha. It means that you will no longer be a field commander. That's fine. We can replace you in the name of the people. 35 days. Hopefully this will uh, kind of work out. Conditional surrender. They, don't, they won't accept my surrender, unfortunately. But Italy should be having some issues now. Because they automatically complete you. Unite the opposition. Stability goes down. More support for... Or less support for fascism. Organized strikes, deny the duce. But you require triumph in Africa. And I mean, if you lose this war, which again is kind of what we're hoping for. I mean, these Italians are taking heavy casualties. Like, they've almost taken more casualties than we have at this point. Which is very impressive to me. We'll do another last stand on you. Just defend your position, my guy. 139 defense. I believe in you. More than I believed in anything else in my entire life. Let's see if we can maybe actually get a counterattack. Well, we, we caused one unit to get pushed back. 23. Okay, congratulations. You're being last standed over here. And get our reinforcements in. I mean, some of these units are looking fairly weak. Like, if you could theoretically take, like, this province, these units would be kind of encircled. But I don't know. I mean, 116 defense. And our, and our attack value is, like, not that good. But so puts us in this kind of awkward situation. I mean, you're kind of safe. Maybe we can push like this. 
Okay, no longer. Well, we lost this province. But actually, I mean, that, that kind of maybe helps us out a little bit. Just because it's less Italy to actually defend. But now you've been uh, unified here again. Do not attack. I'm going to assign you to Brown Army. Again, do not attack. No attacking should occur. I mean, we've lost position. And now Eritrea is connected to Italian Somaliland. Which is not good. Gradual war escalation. And get Soviet aid. Does this make them the ruling party? You create five free divisions. Huh. A coup against Hayala Selesi. Today, members of the military and anti fascist organization known as the Black Lions orchestrated a coup against the government of Hayala Selesi. The emperor was due to inspect the troops when a group of disconsolate soldiers turned on him and her officers, placing him under arrest. Meanwhile, at Isababa, the Black Lions captured a key infrastructure of the city, including the emperor's residence. Many loyalists from the military and the police have been killed in minor skirmishes, but what remains of Ethiopia now under control of the original government? The majority of the people, exhausted by the war with Italy, have simply accepted the authority of the new government. Now, the first decision of the administration is what to uh, decide the fate of Hello Selassie. Okay, we're going to do a quick save here. Can generate female rulers. Stability goes down, but we get more support for our ideology. Exile, I mean. I mean, stability is at 32. And I mean, this really only affects factory output. It's not that bad. You know what? Lock him up. Lock him up. We'll immediately go for Soviet aid. For a local road development. So right now, it's mostly in favor of the anarchists. We want to get in favor of the communists. Give me, give me the um, support. And now we have a bunch of uh, extra units here. Immediately deploy them all. Well, not all of them. We'll put three up north, two down south. Are any of you actually good? combat with I mean you're kind of you're about as good as anybody else so we've, ca we've had a little bit of a coup d'etat but we have reinforcements we have more units now than we ever did before so I'm happy with this get our units down south deploy deploy they also sort of had full strength full equipment and full organization, which I think is going to be important for us. Yeah, they're trying to take it easy, Baba. I don't think to... Oh, yeah, we also need to get a new leader for you. Uh, 3-1. There you go. Congratulations. We have a field marshal. We can actually promote somebody, though. So it's, it's, it's about goddamn time. Give me ambush or defense, uh, Doc Rainier. I think that just makes the most amount of sense for us. Like, is there a way that I can end this war on the offensive? Like, maybe we, like, take over some of their colonial possessions? We, we might get something here to work. I mean, if I take this, it would shrink our front line down a little bit. Let's see, maybe we can take one province. Like, obviously, this is not a... It's not an easy fight. I don't know. I don't know if I want to move any of you. Get our reinforcements in. You're at 91%. Again, it's going to shrink our front line. Also, it will give us a nice uh, river defense. Which I'm happy to see. Got a last stand with you. And I think with our revolution, I think it's a really good time for us to end this episode. Thank everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to wait to thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.